Hello and welcome. This is Nate and I got the Preston for you. This is a 1140 square foot home. I had to think about it for a second. <laughs> Made by Champion Home Builders. And you can find this home at uh, Titan Factory Direct right here in uh, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. So we got these really nice uh, exterior here. Once again, this is a single wide, as you can tell. And we've got some plugins down here. Oh, so we've got some plugins and then uh, a breaker there. Your dryer vent. So I really like the colors that they used on this, is what I started off on saying. So, with that, let's head on in. Oh, and once we get inside, I haven't even mentioned so the kitchen in this one really big kitchen it'll probably remind you of another home that I've got on the channel that one was one of the first ones I did in built or in uh, Kalispell Montana it was also one I filmed at as an updated version in Albany Oregon called the loft but now let's head on in We're going to start off looking at your entertainment area. We got the floating shelf and then a couple more over here. Opens up into a good sized living area. So it gives you nice, larger areas. Then we'll turn around and we will come into our dining room. So in our dining room, you can see we've got plenty of room for a table and a buffet counter with lots of storage up above. I really like the way that that looks. Now, of course, there's no power on in this one, so it makes it a little bit difficult. There is your corner cabinet. Okay, so now, as I said, this kitchen will look a lot like one called the loft. So let's just kind of take a quick pan. Well, 
lots of counter space. And we've got our stack of drawers right next to the stove. Now there is no pantry in this one, but uh, with all these cabinets, you kind of don't need one. The Black Whirlpool appliances. Giant farmhouse sink and then your window there. We got our washer and dryer hookups. Our electric panel back there. And where is well, I don't see. I thought maybe that's where the water heater was going to be. It looks like where it should be. But that is where your furnace is at. All right. That makes sense. And into the hallway. We will take a left and go into bedroom number one. Now for a front bedroom, I would say this one is pretty good size. Coming out into the guest bathroom. Just your standard sink counter there. You do have a cabinet above the toilet. So that is a two piece shower tub combo. And our back bedroom. So now if you noticed, when we were in the bathroom, it doesn't seem like it runs all the way down to the end of the home. And that is because your closets for both your bedrooms are back behind your shower there. As we come back down to this end of the home, we will get the master or primary room.
Now the master bathroom in here is definitely very spacious. So as we come in, we've got our linen cabinet. We've got the single sink with a stack of drawers. Hello, Raiden. Your toilet area is back behind your door. And then we've got the shower with a bench. And I like, once again, I pointed out that shelf down there it's a perfect spot for setting like your shampoos and your soaps and things like that. And then your bar soap can go right there. So it looks really good. And behind us is your closet. And there is the water heater that I thought I was seeing in the other spot. Now I would like to see maybe a pocket door right here if we could, or some kind of door here. But you've got a nice spacious closet. And I really don't have a tie in for that. So uh, just go down in the comment section below and let me know what you think, especially this kitchen. I mean, single wide kitchens, this is still the best design I've seen when it comes to kitchens and single wides. It gives you so much cabinet space, so much counter space. I mean, you've got this great big sink and, and it leaves room for the dining room. So let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like the design? And while you're there, don't forget to uh, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when I upload videos. Share this with your friends and family. And I will see you soon with some price information. Thanks for watching. All right, so now we got to get you some price information for this wonderful home. Like I said, I really love the colors on the outside of this one. Um, you know, that red. It was hard to show on camera. I was having a little bit of technical issues with the way the clouds were up above. It was causing the camera to not, not uh, film properly. So the colors, the red, really should have popped a little bit more. That said, you know, this one, that kitchen, I love the kitchen in that one. It reminds me, like I said, in the beginning of the loft, I even showed a picture of it. So uh, one of my all-time favorite kitchens in a, in a home for a single wide you know, lots of cabinets, you know, single wides usually struggle with cabinets, you know, so that one with all those cabinets, there's really no need for a pantry, you know, just so many nice things about this one. It didn't have the ultra modern slope roof like the, the uh, loft had, but you know, hey, you don't, can't get it all all the time, right? You know, the loft is one of my all time favorite uh, single wide. So when I saw this, I was kind of excited. That said, Titan Factory Direct did not give me a price for the home, but I was able to find this home close by. In fact, it's in Texas, so we're one state down. And uh, this dealer that's got it has it listed at uh, $66,000. So, you know, that loft, that was $150,000 for a single wide. So this one is really good at uh, being only $66,000. Granted, it is board and bat. The loft was sheetrock, ultra modern, slope roof design, you know, that kind of stuff. With that said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. You know, I've been putting out some shorts, so kind of look for those and kind of give them some watches, give them some likes, leave some comments, let me know what you think. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.